So, I and then South that. Africans have accepted and are happy with what we're we have. it already. That's, and why it's a South Africans, mess. Uh, that's why South Africans are saying, let's get proper people to go and run these institutions. Are you, the, are proper, not, are you the proper person? I'm a proper guy. I mean, I don't want to go too far back into history, but at various times you failed to actually file a tax return on time. Yeah. You've been accused of different financial offences. You've never been convicted, yeah. but though some of those yeah. uh, charges were never brought to court. But you tell South Africans, despite your own history, yeah. you are the guy to run their economy. That's why. That's a mind of a lazy person who doesn't do his work. You, you will have to refer back to 15 years. I'm, I've grown up uh -huh. over a period of time, build a solid political party. The only thing you can keep on referring to is what you interviewed me about it 12 years ago. Get something new, my brother. No, I'm very... Show a skill of an, a hard-working presenter who does his research. You can't falter me. Since I've made my mistakes on tax when I was very young, when I was almost 27 years old, fixed that problem. Today, I'm a 42-year-old married man with children who has taken responsibility and built a solid party to be the third largest party without the support of white monopoly capital and the owners of the South African economy. You keep on referring to old and old things because you are now beginning to sound like a scratched CD. You have every right to tell, tell me, me of to me tell now. me you have changed. Tell me of me now. I've been let's in Parliament one, for 10 years. Let's take one particular aspect of your policy. You know, these uh, foreign media are used to asking African leaders questions and trying to force some narrative into the audience because they, they are always trying to tarnish African leaders. And I don't really understand why, because I have never seen any a leader from either uh, the US or Europe or those developed countries per se. I have never seen them question leaders in, in such a manner. So this journalist is referring back to something that happened 12 years ago because he couldn't find something else negative about Malema to mention. I don't know why that is the case but anyway that was a good response from Malema is one tough guy who I know uh, <laughs> uh, not everyone wants to joke with but I really like his ideologies and policies as a as a pan-Africanist as I am a Kenyan and uh, recently in our protest that happened in Kenya we were trying to uh, protest against high, high taxes which were imposed by the IMF and World Bank and we were simply trying to tell them that uh, we don't want these policies and if you think uh, if you think Africa is poor let us stay with our poverty we will figure ourselves out to fight ourselves out of poverty because what you're trying to do is trying to create more poverty for us so let's continue listening to this and talk about this Russia-Ukraine, uh, not uh, this uh, Russia-Africa relationship. So let's see. Positions. Yes. Do you think aligning yourself with Vladimir Putin is going to be good for South Africa? But that's what it is now. South Africa is in alliance with Russia, with India, uh, with Brazil, with China. So why are you asking me as if it's a, some policy that is going to be implemented right after now. I took over? South Africa is in alliance with Russia now. South Africa right now calls itself non-aligned. In the context of the war, but these are two different things. South Africa is an ally of Russia. Now, the second question is, where does South Africa stand on the war? It says I'm a non-aligned in relation to war, but Russia remains South Africa's friend. So we cannot create confusion around there. Don't create an impression that it is Malema who's going to come and create an alliance with Russia. But there are some very specific Actually, I will, if, if go, I may I will say go so. beyond that. I will go beyond the, the friendship with Russia. And in the war, I will align with Russia and I will even supply the weapons to Russia. Because Russia is in a war with, with imperialism 
and any agenda that seeks to push back uh, imperialist agendas it's well within the policies so now let's talk about EFM. this russia african thing um every time russia is mentioned uh we african countries and african leaders are being forced to into this russia ukraine thing and this is just uh, my opinion because it's it's not always playing good for us it is i don't know uh when you talk about africa russia relationship african countries see russia as a business partner nothing more if you have if you have a conflict with uh, russia i believe it's good to go and solve it with them without involving us or using us as a third party so in this case it's like me coming to you and telling you that uh, because you're my friend i want you to hate my enemy whom in that case they haven't wronged you or they haven't done anything to you so i just want you to hate them because i hate them and that is not that does not play right with us so if you see this as a way to stop the russia ukraine thing we have a problem in africa we have a war in Congo, we have a war in Ethiopia. We haven't even solved it, but you now comp you are not trying to tell us to go and solve another problem in Russia. Whereby Russia in this case is a superpower and you yourselves with that capability have been unable to solve. How do you expect us to how do you expect third world countries to solve this issue? How do you expect to solve it? How do you expect us to solve this issue? If you have the capabilities, if you have the weapons, go and supply Russia, Ukraine with those weapons. Well and good, we don't have a problem with that. Without you trying to tell us, tell this guy this and this. What we're saying is we don't support war, we don't support any kind of uh, conflict that uh, amounts to uh, loss of life. But we are against uh, being put into something that we don't want. That's it. So let's continue listening to this. You say, quite clearly, I would arm Vladimir yes. Putin. Yes. You know that the International Criminal Court wants Vladimir Putin to face war crimes charges. Hmm. It must start with Tony Blair. It must start with George Bush. It must go to Barack Obama then it can go to uh, Putin. So, so let's get this so straight. You're saying to me and, that and your, uh, your policy, if you were in power in South Africa, is quite simple, that your enemy's enemy, so and it seems you regard the US and its allies as the... Uh, remember, all I said here was just an opinion. Mm. And if you feel I said something that maybe you are against or something that, uh, that you don't support, you can just comment down below and let me know. Uh, uh, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And also go to see my other videos. So, thank you so much. Bye-bye.